Okay, so yeah, straight after the last episode, in case you missed it, this happened. We went into this game 3-1 down and we won it 6-3 on aggregate. It was an incredible, incredible performance. It means we drew Liverpool in the Champions League semi-final. It's Porto Man City in the other leg, which means, which means, if we can somehow beat Liverpool and Porto beat Man City, I think we've got a good chance of winning the Champions League. Because I think if we go against Man City, well, there are only sixth in the Premier League. Who knows? Who knows? Today, though, that's that's way in the future. I say way in the future. It's a couple of days in the future, realistically. But today, it's Augsburg in the Bundesliga and then Dortmund in the semi-final of the Cup. We're still in the Cup as well, I don't remember. Bundesliga-wise, we've got a game in hand still on on, uh, on Leipzig. They are five games at uh, six, five points ahead of us. They play Eintracht Frankfurt tomorrow. So we will eventually, we will, after this game, hopefully if we win it, we'll go within a couple of points of them. And then if Frank Frankfurt do the business tomorrow a point a draw or something would be fine a loss would be even better it's looking like we might have to do like seven hot seven like an episode every day this week just to finish this before fm24 pops out and i've got to start doing the barcelona beta save so we've got a lot to get through everyone's knackered and i really want players fit for for the dortmund game but everyone's also playing really sodding well so i don't want to make too many changes i think i will bring in acacio for Coadio. Marcel Seeger can come in, I think, for Miranda. That seems like a good choice. And Miranda can go on the bench. Valdry and Curti can play over Tom Ryan for this one. Wait, wait, wait. I said I wasn't going to forget, and I haven't. I haven't forgotten. We're going to take that off. See, I remembered. I remembered this time. So Seeger and Acacia come in. Curti comes in. Junker, unfortunately, we can't really rest him because Wolf is still out injured. He's going to be out for another week or two. Mm, I could play the cat over Nacho, give him a bit of a break. Let's start with the cat, shall we? I could do with giving Musiala a rest as well. Gaspard Schutz. Uh, maybe Kai Havertz. I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a risk, but it's, you know, no offence to Augsburg, but where are they in the league? 13th. We should be doing okay here. I think I can rest a few players. Dressing room doesn't agree with today's team sheet. Well, unfortunately, we've got a lot of games and not many, like, really good fit players at the moment. We've also got Dortmund coming up. Needs must, boys. Needs must. I trust all of you. I trust all of you. I said at the end of the last episode, to, to come back. It's our third home game in a row, by the way. To come back from that terrible run, the way we've come back from that terrible run, and batter Arsenal, give up ourselves back within a few points of Leipzig. It's incredible. Barrier. Get in. Mathis De Litt scores his second goal of the season. Six minutes on the clock. We're 1-0 up. And there's a highlight straight from kickoff. Share. Share. For, uh, for 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 Augsburg, Curti. Curti's a big boy, isn't he? I've just noticed how like hench Curti is for a, for a left back. Blimey, Messiala, the cat. First time we're seeing him this episode. Ibrimi, Acacio has made a great run forward. Acacio to make it two. He does. Acacio with his second goal of the season. Seven minutes on the clock. Looking good. Messiala over the corner swings it in. Ibrimi makes it three. Fantastic, fantastic. Ten minutes in with three 0 up. Needn't worry, did we? Needn't have worried. I think what I'll probably do. Rather than commentate over the entire game, because as I say, I've got a lot to do, a lot to record, I'll just bring you the goals when they happen. Okay, half time, it's still 3 0. I'm going to make some subs because we've done really well. There weren't any more highlights to bring you in that half, to be honest. Uh, so that worked out well, didn't it? So Missy Arles is going to come off. We'll have Lavia instead. Uh, the cat can stay out there. Osh can out, I think, can come on for Ibrimi. Give Ibrimi a bit of a rest. Junker's going to come off for Stephen Clant. And then the rest of them stay the same. Delic could do with a bit of a break, actually. So maybe Tom Ryan later on, possibly. I'm going to drop down to balanced. Urban over a free kick, cleared. Ortet now for Frankfurt, uh, for Augsburg. Petkov shoots over the bar. Free kick. Curti throws it into the cat. Lavia to Miranda. Miranda's tackled in the box. And that's going to be a penalty, I think. And possibly a second yellow for Odogu. Possibly. Although, do they do the double, je double jeopardy thing here where you can't really get sent off? For a penalty? I think they do. Yeah, he's still on the pitch, so I'm sure they do. Right, who's on this? Havertz? Havertz, yes. Havertz makes it... Oh, he's put it wide. Havertz puts it wide. <laughs> All right. Farrier to Miranda, back to Farrier. Lavia in the middle of the park, back to Farrier, back to Lavia. Acacio loses out in the middle, so it was too much. Too much farting around on the ball. I have told them to fart around on the ball, but there was a little bit too much there. Urban does score. That's going to be 3-1. Give me 3-1. It's definitely not offside. It's fine. Definitely not offside. 
All right. It finished 3 1 in the end. David Urban got a goal back. Uh, it wasn't, a, there was a lengthy VAR check, but it was fine. On to Dortmund, the, you know, the really, the really important one. Oh, and we said, oh, no, we've got the Frank, we've got the Frankfurt game. We've got the Leipzig Frankfurt game next. Oh, of course. They won 2 0. Oh, it's getting tighter and tighter. There's only a few, but there's only four games, three league games left. And there are five points to catch up on. That's a bit of a better, better, better head to head, isn't it? 70 to 22. That's, well, let's, let's not go in here too too confident. Back to the big boys. Miranda back in. Coadio comes in. Uh, Havertz comes off for Kareel. Ibrahimi keeps his spot. Gaspard Schutz stays on the bench. I, I can't I can't sacrifice Ibrahimi because Schutz has just been playing so well. Uh, the other way around. I can't sacrifice Ibrahimi because he's been playing so well. You know, I can't uh, I can't give Gaspard Schutz the spot. The start. I just can't do it. We've been playing really really well. I do think we've got what it takes to get past Dortmund here. We've, got, we've still got to play them again in the league as well, so this will be a good barometer for how we're going to get on potentially against them at the end of the, at the, end of the season in our final game. The Lit with a lovely defensive header there. Farrier, Curti on the left-hand side. Got sort of no one making a run ahead of him, so he has to cut back to Farrier. Farrier finds Miranda, Miranda to Curti. Farrier again. Curti once more. Back to Farrier. You, you, there, are, there are other players on the pitch. There you go, Miranda, Farrier, Curti. Just, um, let's, I like the defensive stuff, but then we, defensive stuff, I like the fact that we we're able to keep the ball quite nicely, but then stuff like that happens. Although we have still come away with it. Kirill finds Musiala, who's made a good run. Musiala, edge of the box, back to Miranda. Miranda's tackled. Is that going to be a penalty? It is. It is going to be a penalty. Schwermer, the referee, Felix Schwermer, has given us the penalty. Is VAR going to overturn it? No, they're not. Weird. Why did it cut away? Ibrimi, you would think? Ibrimi, to make it 1-0. Get it in, straight down the middle. 1-0. Kirill, free kick on this left-hand side. Farrier at the back post, doesn't get anything on it. Kirill has got the ball again. Kirill cuts in, cuts it back, does he? Goes all the way, punts it over the bar. <laughs> he had so many players waiting in the middle. It's 0-0, nil -nil, Mainz and Hamburg. We're going to keep an eye on that as well, because it's, uh, you know, but Hamburg win, but win, score. Penalty in the 14th minute, Orb converts for Hamburg. So two penalties, currently game-changing moments in this, uh, in this round of the cup. Free kick, stroke half-time, Wanner fires it in, and it's gone over the bar from Mekic. Mekic? I think I got that right. Did I get that right? I did! Mekic! Come on! Right, we're doing well, but we can do better now then. What are we going to do here? Barrier's on a booking, so I'm definitely taking him off. We'll have Seager on. Mm, I don't want to run the risk. Guardia's not playing particularly well. But Musiala's more tired. I think I'll leave this as is for now. Keep an eye on Junker. Keep an eye on Coadio. If they don't start playing better, I might drop down to balance now. If they don't start playing better, then uh, then we could be hoiking one of those two and possibly Musiala as well. 60 minutes on the clock. We've had no highlights this second half. Junker is on a 6.3 and a booking. I've got to take him off. I've got to take him off for Stephen Plant. Um, that's a bit concerning. Coadio's not really played very well either. We'll have a Casio on, I think. Yes. Nacho, similarly, not playing amazingly. Oshkanak can come over him, and that leaves us one more sub later on in the game. 25 minutes ago, one more sub left. All right, 78 minutes on the clock. There have been literally no highlights in the second half. Not a single one to bring you. So, Musiala, I think, come off for Romeo Lavia. And that's going to be the last change. Still 1-0 Hamburg in mind as well. Two penalties at the moment are just all we've seen in the, in this, in the two games. Four minutes added time, no highlights in the second half, none at all, and we're through. <laughs> it's not quite as exciting as the last episode when we battered Arsenal, but the, the end result, still very much the same. And you can see there, actually, Hidalgo getting the man of the match. They had five shots on target, and he is probably, based on that, kept us in it. That was fine. That was literally fine. That's all you can say about that one, I think. It was just fine. Uh, the fans love it because they hate Dortmund, so uh, I'm happy. Two million for winning that. And we've got Hamburg in the final. They're currently 16th in the Bundesliga. In danger of getting relegated. There's a good chance. There's a good chance <clears throat> that we're going to come away with at least one piece of silverware at the end of the season. That is going to be it for this episode. Then the next episode, as we carry on this crazy week of just relentless football manager, we'll have Freiburg and Liverpool, the first leg of the semi-final of the Champions League, for a chance to play to play rather Porto or Man City in the final and then Freiburg 
you know, we need the points, Freiburg. Just do us a favour. We need the points. And we also need, I believe, Leipzig have got Dortmund. We also need Dortmund to do us a favour. And I don't think they're going to be wanting to do that, considering we just knocked them out of the cup. I will see you back here very, very soon for the next episode. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. Leave a like on the video uh, if you enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video if you didn't enjoy it. Actually, I need the engagement. Uh, and subscribe also, because I'm near a thousand and I really want the thousand. I will see you back here very, very soon. All the best. Cheers. Bye.